What is going on guys and welcome to episode 4 of the Just Cause 4 show. What on earth is actually going on? I don't know how we've come this far, but I absolutely love it, you guys love it, and today we got three awesome topics to actually talk about. But before we get into that guys, I want to ask you guys something, because I love making Just Cause videos, and you know I always try out different games on my channel, etc. Like, I just uploaded a VR video, and if you haven't seen that, the link is in the description below. So, I'm always open to new video games, etc, etc. But, I really, really want to make more Just Cause videos as a whole, whether that be Just Cause 1, 2, 3, and of course the Just Cause 4 show. But, I don't know if you guys actually want to see more of that stuff, like way more frequently. If you do and you really, really would love it, I mean, drop a like on this video right now because I just want to get your honest opinion because right now I feel like I don't just want to bombard you with the same thing if that makes sense but if there's a lot of you guys that want it and there's like a high demand for a load of Just Cause videos then that is exactly what you get <laughs> I mean pretty much in a nutshell like I don't want to just become a Just Cause free only channel or like Just Cause only channel but it's what I love the most and I'd love to make more videos than that. But like I said, I just want to know if you guys want to see more of that stuff. So I just want to add into the video real quick here before I actually continue into the main, main, main topic of this video. I've created a Discord server um, for like Just Cause as a whole. So if you want to talk Just Cause 4 or with loads of other rebels, etc. And Just Cause 3 multiplayer or just talk to me better, go ahead and join the chat. The link is in the description below. I just just for us a, a much more like efficient way for all of us to communicate and I think it's gonna be super cool so go ahead and join that if you want to talk to all of us the link is in the description below but let's jump into the topics that we have to talk about into today's video which is absolutely amazing so first and foremost we got going into public buildings second of all we got first person and lastly we got driving dynamics now the last two I just mentioned, I have more or less touched up on like over the last couple of like months, etc. Um, so we're still going to be talking about that, but the first one though is something that I have never actually discussed. I mean, it's probably crossed my mind a couple of times, but like, it's not something I've actually just sat down and been like, you know what, we actually need that. So let's jump straight into that topic first of all. So it comes in from DJ Hasselhoff. And he says, I would love to have public buildings you can go into. And I was just thinking about it, right? How insane and how much fun would that actually be? As stupid as it might sound, just imagine ramming a monster truck into like a corner shop with a freaking goat attached, right? It's all pretty fucking crazy, right? And it's like, what the hell is going on? But something so small like that it really does go a long way i mean maybe you could go into like a grocery store and just i don't know like tether a freaking watermelon to someone's head i don't know i know there would be like some crazy shit going on because of course the whole just cause team and, and square enix in general like they they literally surprise you with things that you probably would have never thought about like where they get their ideas i don't know but whoever gives those cool ideas need a raise <laughs> like they just come up with like some crazy shit so if there was to actually be buildings you can go into i definitely want there to be quite a lot of uh I want to say like variety, like too much if that makes sense, but like I don't just want like one if that <laughs> makes sense. And I mean as far as shops go as a whole, like the petrol station you've got, like I said you've got grocery stores, maybe a shopping mall, I don't really know. Like the last game that had a shopping mall that I played was Saints Row 2 if I'm not mistaken. I don't really think I've ever played like another open world game that has a shopping mall that you can go into. Like not even GTA, but I might be wrong, but as far as I'm aware, I don't think there's any other games that kind of like feature a building that you can go into, like on that sort of scale, if that makes sense. So definitely going into buildings is something that I would love to see in Just Cause 4, just simply because I feel it's, it's more of a diverse world and feels more real and again, opens up a whole load of doors to a whole load of more fun that you're probably wouldn't be able to be done so yeah it would definitely be pretty pretty cool now the next topic i want to talk about is of course driving dynamics and now i think everyone can agree on this one the driving in just cause 3 wasn't exactly the greatest okay even though it was fun 
It wasn't a greatest. Some vehicles felt super heavy, like motorbikes for me when it comes down to turning, etc, etc. Like all of that sort of stuff really, really felt stiff and I know they were going for an arcade kind of feel, right? Which to be fair, I mean, they kind of got that. It's just... I don't know, it could have probably like made vehicles feel a little bit more lighter, like they nailed planes and all that, it was more ground vehicles for me personally. I don't know about you guys, but that was sort of like the biggest issue for me. Now, driving dynamics in Just Cause 4, what I really think they should do is maybe go away from the arcade style, and I know they went there simply because like driving in Just Cause, like the whole Just Cause series, isn't meant to be relevant, right? You're freaking Rico, you have a grappling hook, you got a wingsuit, why in the hell would you want a car, right? But even if they don't like fully go away from the arcade feel, I want vehicles to kind of feel a little bit more lighter um, and, and actually turn more precisely if that makes sense I mean as a whole I would like just pretty much a real feel to vehicles a good example like of a game and I don't want to say it but it's the only game I can kind of think of at the top of my head and that is GTA 5 and even GTA 4 like of course driving dynamics in those games are always going to be a lot more realistic because you know it's meant to feel like real life but arcade driving for me just personally wasn't really cutting it like I wasn't really really feeling it at all and it just made a whole lot of things a lot harder than it should have been like you could be on a motor, like you could be on a motorbike going really, really fast. You just take like the slightest turn and bang, that's it. Like it's game over, and obviously, like it, it wasn't really fun. So driving dynamics definitely, I feel, need to improve in Just Cause 4. Maybe add some more crazy stuff, like a freaking car that can fly. Hey, how about that? Okay, I don't really care about the driving dynamics on that. Now going into the last topic, and it's a topic that I'm excited to talk about, which is the first person, of course, in Just Cause 4, but. I've actually got a little example to showcase to you guys. Now, what you see in the background right now is actually footage uh, from another fellow Just Cause for a YouTuber who goes by the name of Charlie Tanker. Now, this guy, I don't know what he's done here, okay? Um, but, <laughs> but pretty much what he's done is he's gone into first person in like Just Cause 3 multiplayer, alright? And it really just shows how cool it looks, okay? Like, he's on the water. If you want to see the full video, the link is linked in the description below. But just take a look at it. Like, he's in a bus and whatnot. He's on the water, but, like, it just feels like a different world. Like, you kind of, like, see more of something than you probably would have, obviously. Because you just got so much better vision and, like, wildlife again. Like, the underwater wildlife. Small things like go through like the freaking, I would say grass, but it's not grass. I mean, you know, like the leaves on the water and shit like that. Fish is going past you. <laughs> like, all of that stuff is really, really cool. And I think first person, whether it would be underwater only or maybe on ground or when you're wingsuiting or simply an option that you can always turn on and off, I really feel needs to be in the game. And just imagine like the footage you're seeing in the background, right? You're underwater in first person and a big ass sh like freaking shark just goes past you. Maybe you can like grapple it and crazy shit like that. Like all of that is super, super crazy and you would just get like a much different feel to it um, in first person compared to of course doing it in third person so I mean it's got to be done first person definitely has to be done even in driving airplanes like all of that sort of stuff it would seriously seriously do some freaking good stuff but get in the comment section below let me know what you guys think as always if you have an idea drop it in the comment section below something you would like to see in just cause 4 and you might just make it into the next just cause 4 episode but guys i really hope you enjoyed watching this one as always don't forget i've got the discord server that i mentioned in the beginning of this video you guys can check that out the link is in the description below it'd be awesome to have you guys join that and i will catch you guys though in the next video though but until then i hope you have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe for more awesome content but guys until the next one adios amigos pick up the basket <gasps> holy shit we can do that all right forget the missions let's just cause chaos spin it around and bang Oh, God. <laughs> okay.
All right, that was cool. What oh my god. I have just come up with a really great idea. Hey, what up? <laughs> I have no idea where that guy just went. You like my strong grip? Because if you like my strong grip, you like my strong smack? Is that is that a way we can go? Move out the way! <laughs>